good and efficient roads are crucial for facilitating for major living areas and labour markets with a short travel distance. E39 Stored Us is one of the sub-projects related to the future E39 between Stavanger and Bergen. This sub-project includes two sea crossings. For the suspension bridge over Langenuen, it's considered using well-known offshore technology and to build steel bridge towers. This will contribute to cost savings for the project. By using steel instead of concrete, it's possible to carry out the construction of the bridge towers in parallel with both the groundwork for the bridge towers and supply roads. Besides reduced completion time for the project, using bridge towers in steel opens up for greater competition as they can be produced several places in the world. Regardless of where the bridge towers and steel are produced, it will be possible to benefit from well-known and proven offshore technology in the fabrication. There will only be a minor difference in the production and transport method according to where the bridge towers are built. Building locally gives a simple delivery model due to a short transport distance. It will be possible to construct the bridge towers in a dry dock and then move the bridge towers out of the dock where the last phase of the construction takes place. The completed bridge towers are then transported, floating in the ocean to the location where the lifting vessel lifts the bridge towers out of the ocean and then installs them. In the case of regional or European production location of the bridge towers, the production method will be the same. Because of the longer transport distance, it's necessary to use transport barges. Transport on a barge can take a few days before it arrives at the location, before the lifting vessel can lift up the bridge towers in the mounting positions, they must be transferred from the barge to the ocean. A third possible location for production is Asia. Due to the distance, the use of a transport ship is recommended for a safe and fast-moving transport. The bridge towers are loaded onto a transport ship that will have the capacity to transport both bridge towers at the same time. The transport time from Asia is a few weeks. However, because the production of the bridge towers is done in parallel with the project work on the construction site, this does not entail a longer total construction time for the project. Upon arrival in the south of Langenuen, the submersible transport ship will transfer the two bridge towers to the ocean. The subsequent installation method will be the same regardless of where the bridge towers have been manufactured. One bridge tower at a time, the crane vessel lifts them out of the ocean and prepares them for transport and installation at the construction site where the bridge foundations now are completed. The last transport leg starts up towards the installation site in Langenuen. The transport route is about 15 kilometers and requires good weather conditions with little wind. At the installation site in Langenuen, the completed bridge foundations on Stord and Tusnes are ready for the installation. Langenuen has good conditions with sufficient depth for the use of a crane vessel for the lifting of the high bridge towers. The first bridge tower will be installed on the Tusnes side. When this is in place, the crane vessel will pick up the second bridge tower in the south of Langenuen and install it on the Stord side. The steel bridge towers provide an efficient and cost-saving production and installation process based on established offshore technology developed over a period of many years.